Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Jay Prakash. I'm starting this channel to share my very little knowledge I do have with big data. In this first video, let us discuss about what is big data and how a big data can be classified. So big data is not just representation of the size of the data, but it also the variety of the data that comes into play. Before talking about big data, let us discuss what is unstructured, semi-structured, unstructured data. So what is unstructured data? The term unstructured data refers to information that doesn't belong to a, any traditional row column database. In simple terms, it is exact opposite of structured data. For a much clear explanation, unstructured data can be comprised of text, images, videos, audios, and web pages. These are, these are all called as unstructured because data doesn't fit perfectly in any database, I mean any relational database. So, what is the structured data which has you know uh, if it has a proper structure if it has rows and columns if it fits fits into any rdbms database it can be called as a structured data then what is a semi-structured data xml files json so these are all these are all actually you know classified as semi, uh, semi structured data so weblog files email body these can be cl classified as totally unstructured data so now coming back, what is a big data? Big data is a collection of data that corresponds to your resource from where valuable insights can be derived through analysis. In other words, big data is uh, an electric mix of all possible types of data, structured, unstructured, semi-structured, multi-structured, from which a clear picture as, as to what the, the data can do for them what it means and its hidden potential can be derived for better performance of an organization so how a big data can be you know classified so we do need to understand the four v's of big data so how a particular kind of a data can be classified as big data so four v's there is something called volume variety velocity and veracity so let's see what is volume the main characteristic that makes data big is the sheer volume. It makes no sense to focus on minimum storage units because the total amount of information is growing exponentially every year. In, in the year 2010, it is estimated that annual report that it being believed the world have, was having 800 exabytes of data and it is growing. For that in the same year, a hardware company that makes data storage devices thought it was closer to 900 exabytes and would grow by 50% every year. So just imagine how rapidly the data is growing. So if the data is pretty huge, it is keep on growing so that our conventional systems cannot can, uh, are not able to handle the data. So this data, huge volume of data is classified as big data. The next characteristic is variety. Variety is one of the most interesting developments in technology as more and more information is being digitized. That has been the drawback of global digitization. So traditional databases, data types include things on a bank statement like date, amount and time. These are things that fit neatly in a relational database. Structured data is augmented by unstructured data, which is where things like Twitter feeds, audio files, MRI images, web blogs web pages or put or these things are put you know put together anything that can be captured and stored but doesn't have a meta meta model to it it doesn't have any structure to it so unstructured data is a fundamental concept in big data the best way to understand unstructured data is by comparing it to the structured data so with unstructured data, on the other hand, there are no rules. A picture, a voice, a recording, a tweet, they are capable of being classified as totally unstructured data. All can be different but express ideas and thoughts based on human understanding. So if it is totally unstructured, so we need a system that is able to understand unstructured data to derive some proper business insights on that. So the next thing is velocity. Velocity is the frequency of incoming data that needs to be processed. Just imagine how many SMS messages, Facebook status updates or 
even credit card swipes are being sent on a particular telecom carrier every second of every day and if you understand that we have a good understanding of velocity of the data a streaming application like amazon web services is an application of it is a classic example of an application that handles the velocity of data so veracity the last characteristics of that can be classified as a big data veracity refers to the trustworthiness of the data so if the data we never know whether the data you are going to analyze is really trustworthy or not so we really do know about anything about the data so irrespective of whatever the kind of data we need to derive some insights on that so veracity is something like totally your input source can be completely a uh, uncertain data so how do you analyze totally uncertain data and derive some meaningful insight out insights of it so these are all the four characteristics that can be uh, uh you know classified as big data if you like this video please subscribe to my youtube channel big data school thank you so much i will meet you in my next video